So here in the National Building Museum, in the corner, there's a brand new exhibit on green school design, which is quite exciting. I'm here at the Green Schools exhibition at the National Building Museum, and I wanted to call attention to one example of a green school here in DC. It's the Phelps Architecture, Construction, and Engineering High School. Uh, it's unique in that it is the first college preparatory school in the country um, to offer vocational training alongside the college prep coursework. Some of the great features included that help the students make a connection between what they're learning in terms of training and the energy consumption within the physical structure are color-coded pipes that you see here that show the different um, systems, the sprinkler, the plumbing, the electrical system. There are also different energy systems at play from uh, wind and also geothermal that the students are able to monitor in uh, various displays located throughout the building. We're really excited to include this uh, breakdown of the construction of modular or um, the, the typical portable classroom versus the sustainable modular classroom. This and there are a lot of portable classrooms these Absolutely, days. as schools really cope with um, growing populations and uh, lack of funds perhaps for right. new construction or, or more permanent expansion, you see increasing use or fairly extensive use of portable classrooms. Formaldehyde uh, is present within the particle board, right. all sorts of um, potentially toxic materials that are uh, less expensive, easy to use, quick to produce, um, that you see here. A lack of a permanent foundation versus the sustainable modular classroom, which you can see has the an excellent um, <laughs> uh, inclusion of different kinds of insulation happening. You have the recycled wool, the rigid foam insulation, the gap here between the rain screen and the insulation and the waterproofing layer allows for air to circulate and really minimize the, the heat kind of being transmitted through the wall and allows both the heat and the cool air to, to flow in and out. Uh, you have recycled materials, low VOC um, to no VOC um, emitting materials used in construction, a steel framing, recycled steel framing um, use. So it really is from the ground with a permanent concrete foundation all the way to um, solar panels that would be on the roof. Over actually seven and a half million students go to school every day in mobile trailers, uh, which is uh, a little over 10% of all kids. And so the purpose of Stroud Space is really to create an alternative to that and a much better, healthier learning environment. And actually, uh, although it's modular, it's, it's a more permanent environment as well. Most uh, trailers are designed to last maybe five to ten years and they start to crumble and a lot of times they're used after their, their useful life. Mm -hmm. And this Sprout Space is intended to uh, last more like 30 to 40 years. Uh, well, another thing that Sprout Space includes is this outdoor teaching area. As you can see here where we've integrated a whiteboard for teaching. I mean, it's really great to be able to give students a break, get them outside on a, on a nice day. I mean, here we are in 1st of March. Normally it's pretty cold, but it's not a bad day today and kids yeah. can come out. And the building itself is, uh, integrates a whiteboard. It's great. I love it.